my YouTube channel today. I'm filming in my closet. I'm filming a clothing haul. I've never done this before. I love watching clothing hauls, so I thought it'd be really fun to make one of my own. <laughs> So next month I'm off to Europe um, for a while and I've been going around, I've been trying to get new pieces of clothing to add to my wardrobe. I've tried a couple new stores, so that'd be really fun to share with you what I have gotten. I'm going to a lot of different countries with like different climates. So I got some stuff that would be good for like colder weather, like Finland and Norway are gonna be a little chilly. Then I've gotten some stuff that would be good for warmer weather. So I'm gonna start with Shein. For those of you who never heard of Shein before, it's basically like another Zaffle, like it's like a cheap clothing site. Um, the first thing that I got is this jacket. It's like a cream color corduroy jacket. It is lined, so I know it's gonna be really warm when I'm in like Norway and Finland. It has drawstrings at the bottom, so it can like cinch at the waist. It zips up, I think it's so cute. And it's puffy, and I think it's gonna be really warm. All the reviews online said it's gonna be really warm. I got an extra small, and it fits me perfectly, and I just love it. It's exactly what I was looking for. Next thing I got, also Shein. Shan puts everything in a plastic bag, which is kind of disheartening. Um, I'm gonna try to find ways to like reuse these plastic bags, but it makes me really sad that like everything is in a bag. So this clothing haul is gonna have a lot of leopard. Leopard is really popular now. Um, I got this leopard skirt. I was looking for one that was a little longer. I saw one on Princess Polly. I'll like insert the photo. Um, and I really liked it, but like Princess Polly is super expensive and they're an Australian company and then when they come to Canada, I have to pay duties on that. And so I was looking for like a cheaper alternative, which is basically what you go on Shein for. I got it in extra small. It is so cute. Like it's not all the same length at the bottom. I'm definitely bringing this to Europe with me. The next thing I got was a snakeskin top. So obviously I'm loving the like animal print right now. This is like a mock neck tight snakeskin top. Um, it's in an extra small as well. Um, it's really comfy and it's honestly really good quality. I was expecting a lot of like bad quality from Shein. Like it's not like the most amazing quality ever, but like it's definitely way better than I thought. I can picture wearing it with like black jeans. It can also be a good layering top like to wear it under like a jacket and just have it like that pattern kind of pop through. I love snakeskin so much that I actually got a second snakeskin top. This one is obviously styled a little differently. It's a it's a tank top, a little bodysuit cami. Um, I love bodysuits that have like the thong because then you can wear it with um, something tight. Like if I wanted to wear this with like leather leggings, I could and then I wouldn't have like any underwear lines with it. Again, same material as before, really nice. I got it in extra small. It is definitely a good shirt to wear like on a night out. The next thing I got is just a t-shirt. It is in an extra small. It's just a C'est la vie Paris. Um, I'm gonna wanna wear this in Paris. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. It's just a simple t-shirt. I pictured it with like biker shorts, like black biker shorts and like little tiny sunglasses and like my hair in a bun. Does anyone ever do that where they just like picture a full outfit, you see a shirt and you can just picture it. The next thing that I got is this adorable red top. It is a one shoulder top. Um, it's in this knit like material which I really like because that means it's not see through. I don't own enough red in my wardrobe so I'm really glad that I have this now. I think that is all the stuff I got for Shein. Um, the next place I went, I actually went to Walmart. Um, after I watched Tony Saval, I can't even say her last name. Um, I will link her channel down below, but she does this series called Bougie on a Budget, and she honestly finds like the best stuff. And um, I was kind of like feeling like her because I found these like amazing biker shorts. I just got them in black. These were so cheap, they were like $15 from Walmart. Just like Lululemon, it has that little pocket in the middle and just like Lululemon it has like the dry fit technology and something else that I know I'm going to wear with my biker shorts which brings me on to the next place that I shopped Princess Polly. Princess Polly is an Australian company I've heard so much about them a lot of people that I follow buy stuff from Princess Polly I follow them on Instagram I think everything that they put out is so cute um, so I was really excited to get my first order so the first thing that I got I have been looking 
for a good pair of white chunky running shoes and I think I can honestly say these are like the holy grail of white running shoes they are I think they're called the Windsor Smith loop sneakers um, by the way, I'm going to try to link everything that I can in the description below. Um, I hate when people do a clothing hauls and then you can't find anything that they're talking about. Everything that I can link, I will link below. So these are just the Loop, I think that's what they're called, the Loop sneakers, Windsor Smith sneakers. They are so cute. It's like Spice Girls vibes. They're super platform, super chunky. I'm a very short person, so sneakers like this are absolutely fantastic for me. They make me feel like a supermodel, like so tall. I love how chunky they are. If you want chunky white sneakers, these are the ones that you should get. They're absolutely fantastic. The next thing that I got from Princess Polly is, again, <laughs> another animal print. I got a leopard little like cami dress. I think it's so cute. I think it's called their like motel dress. I think it'd be adorable with like some boots or even those running shoes, right? I can also picture this like underneath something like layered with like a black mock neck, some jewelry. The next thing that I got, I actually got off Amazon. I've been having such good luck with Amazon. Last year, I got this amazing fanny pack. It's like a little like faux snake skin like fanny pack and it just kind of like cinches like right here and I thought it was so cute and it's like magnet and I love it this is from Amazon and it was like $20 and bags like this are normally so expensive so I was like wow love you Amazon love that I was on Amazon the other day because I thought maybe I could find a chain belt I was looking for a good chain belt because those are super in style and I'll explain that later I found a super cute chain belt um, in gold. I thought this would pair so nicely with like a dress if you want to cinch it at the waist with jeans. It is absolutely adorable. It was a little long when I first got it. I would hang down like this much. And so I actually just got my dad to get some pliers and like kind of tweak it for me. This piece before was really, really long. It was like, it would sit on you like this. I thought it'd be cuter if it was closer together like this. And so I got him to fix that up for me and that's why I just made a noise because oh, when he took the links off, he <laughs> did a typical dad thing and made me a bracelet out of it. So if you have some pliers, you can also um, get yourself a bracelet and get yourself a new chain belt. All right, the next place that I shopped is American Eagle. Um, for those of you who don't know, I filmed a video for my birthday and American Eagle gives out a birthday deal, so that was in that video. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below for that video. But American Eagle has some really cute boho stuff right now. This is a little two-piece set. This is so cute. It just screams summertime. It's a navy two-piece set and it has like white floral design on it. It does have a belt. Um, that cinches it up at the waist and the top that matches it is like this adorable halter top I love two-piece sets both of these pieces would look great by themselves But then they also look really great together. The next thing that I got is on this, The mannequin right now. I wouldn't take it off the mannequin um, But it is just like a white like floral Cloth it almost reminds me of like when you would go to your grandma's when you're younger and there'd be like little doilies on the on the kitchen table. It almost has this like tablecloth-y pattern. It is pretty see-through so you're definitely gonna have to wear like nipple stickers or like a strapless bra with it but I just thought it was adorable and the sleeves are so flattering because it cinches it at the sleeve here and then it kind of just like flares out. You could wear it like on your shoulders or you could wear it off the shoulder which is also so cute. Um, the last thing that I wanted to show you is from one of my absolute favorite companies. Um, Matt and Nat is a company that sells handbags mainly. They sell vegan leather handbags handbags and the inside lining of their bags are made from recyclable plastic bottles and I just think that's so amazing that we have a company here that is taking something that is so harmful to our planet and takes millions of years to decompose and they're turning it into something that can be useful and they're really like upcycling it. These bags are absolutely adorable. I have a couple already but this is my newest one. Really on trend right now, bucket bags. So almost like think of a bucket like um, a child going to the beach right bucket bags uh, like resemble that shape of a little sand pail a little bucket um i just got the black one it comes with this strap but then it also comes with a strap that you can wear it like a 
crossbody, which is really cute. And then the how you open the bag, it's actually like magnetic. Pickpocketers do not come for me. And it can go with so many things, but it's black. Okay, I think that's everything. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Trying something new. Um, I really love fashion, so I thought it'd be something fun to do. If you did like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel. I have so many vlogs coming for Europe. And people are asking me like how I was gonna maneuver my videos for Europe. Um, I'm at least gonna be making one vlog per country that I'm in. A lot of the times our days are really busy and I'll be doing a lot of things and I might want to make something their own vlog. So definitely one vlog per country, possibly multiple vlogs per country depending on what I'm doing. If I'm doing something really interesting, I might make a whole vlog out of it. This summer, once I come home, I'll be trying to post bi-weekly. So if you like travel videos, you like watching my vlogs, please subscribe to my channel and support me. I'm gonna be trying to post so much more often and on a more consistent basis. So you can expect new videos from me every other week in the summertime. I'm filming this right now in April, but by the time that you see it, it will be May and I will be in Europe already. So hopefully that when I come home, that I can start posting on a more consistent schedule. Thank you so much for your continued support. If you're new, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video which will be a vlog in Europe. I'm so excited.